Good Thursday morning to you ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609 from Capitan, New Mexico on a cool morning. Hey Google, what's the temperature? The current temperature in Capitan is 30 degrees. Well, that's not too bad. The real temperature is 23, but that's pretty close with a high of 65 and sunshiny all day, so I can't complain. But be that as it may, Today is the first day of the rest of your life. Make it a good one. It's the day after yesterday, day before tomorrow. It's right now, and right now just went right on by. So live in the present because it's where you live. That's where you are. Even though the past is over here, future's out here, you're right in here. But be that as it may, never worry about what you cannot change. <clears throat> I've been living in an RV a long time, and that may change here, folks. I've been... I talked to, a, believe it or not, an old Rusty never stops. I talked to a builder yesterday and, uh, and some people from the planning commission here on the property. They came by here. And, uh, yeah, there's probably, a, mm, I'm going to give it a 50-50 chance of me building a small home here because you can build whatever you want. And what I'm looking at now is 320 square feet which would be uh, like a 20 foot by 16 foot home. That's just for the home. It'll have a patio, which will be about 12 by 20 on the front or covered, you know, patio thing. And uh, so, yeah, they're, they're going to, I gave them all the info or the info they needed. And, uh, you know, I own the lot. So, you know, I'm hoping to get it built for, you know, the way I want it for around $100 a square foot or so. And if that's possible, then we'll we'll just move right on into it. But we'll see. It's it, it's not going to happen quick, because if nothing in the building industry happens really quick, I don't think. But we'll see. Anyway, just thought I'd give you a heads up on that. And as far as the noon video, uh, yeah, we may talk about that. It, I, I I call it a sticks and bricks RV because that's basically what it is. I just took this floor plan and kind of expanded it a little bit on both ends. And uh, so we'll see how that works. But anyway, moving right along. Of course, I've been living in this thing in RVs a long time. Hey, Google, tell us a joke. Did you hear about the snowman that got upset when the sun came out? He had a total meltdown. <laughs> Amazing, isn't it? That's just so funny. <laughs> they're not funny. They're just dumb. Anyway, a lean tool. If your phone is an Apple phone, I, 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 I don't have an Apple phone. I have an Android it says you can turn off all robo calls and settings. Yeah, well, I've, uh, Android has the same feature. Yeah, and, and it'll give you the option of, you know, screening all the calls. And, and it does. It works okay. It helps. In fact, uh, I don't get any uh, robo calls on, on my main phone. On the other one I do because I never turn that feature on because I don't care if they talk to that thing. But anyway, thank you, Eileen. This is Ralph P. on the walking. It says, thanks for the walk about, Rusty. I don't... I don't, I don't do those trinket shops, but the old stinking goat and I enjoy the real old crap antique shops. Yeah, well, that's good. Here's your stinking kiss from the stinking goat. Anyway, <clears throat> well, you know, they, they do a lot of business during the tourist season, obviously, because they've got to pay rent uh, on those places downtown, and I'm sure the rent's pretty high in those prime areas. Next up here is Boondocking with Dennis. He's got two comments. Nice, clear blue skies, lots of new things to see. Looks like another great place. Uh, yeah, it is. It is pretty. Anyway, good morning, he says. Thank you for an excellent tour. Always need to do some window shopping. Yeah, check his channel out, Boondocking with Dennis on YouTube. This is Rob Talon. Hey, Rusty, so you left Texas without the bucket of honor. Well, I did. Well, I'm sure you know every convenience store in America sells emergency containers called hefty bags of honor uh whatever yeah i could probably make do with something and uh, we'll see what happens but thank you for your comment rob ladybug rusty keeps it real that was my second video just learning <laughs> boy i'm telling you that was something too i have to tell you that uh, anyway uh yeah uh, tom wilson thanks for the tour you're welcome scotty thompson here cool video talk thank you scotty thompson and he also says, I'm still learning the modern day of bowling, automatic bowling lanes, and new high technology in the bowling ball. Yeah, well, good for you, Scotty. Get it all down and then get on the tour. 
This is on the Tiny Home Home Depot. Leonard Dutton says, great video. That's a rare for thing for somebody to say. Usually they get after me because of that OSB. Uh, anyway, Snowy Bells, 12 on walking. There's the next three are walking here. Howdy, Rusty. Love this little town. Like the little stores and fun to see inside. Just never know what to see and happy to see it. Yeah, you know, it, it's neat to go window shopping. And, uh, and, and I do that when I'm in an area because you never know. I mean, it, it's tempting to buy a lot of those cute little knickknacks, but I don't have any place to put them. And even if I build that little home, uh, which I may or may not do, we'll see how it goes. Uh, first thing I got to do is get a, a, a price or, a, you know, some guideline. And let me check. I need to check something right quick. I, what, what about lumber prices, guys? Have they gone crazy again? I know they went way up. Uh, lumber prices today. We'll check that. Uh, let's see. I'm going to just check this right quick. Well, it says it's 881. Uh, it doesn't show a, what the year high was. Uh, you, well, it does. It go, well, it's come down, actually. Uh, it, it's come down from... Uh, well, actually, it was a thousand and seventy-five. I don't know if that's a board, whatever that is, but uh, it says price change over the last month is down forty percent. So maybe uh, we'll uh, be in a reasonable position to get this done. But anyway, sorry for that interruption. Now back to comments. <laughs> uh, anyway, <clears throat> uh, old vines in says I looked up Ruidoso and I really like the look of this town. I'm not a shopper, but having been a cop in L.A., the shop carrying handgun accessories kind of caught my eye. Thank you for the walk downtown. Beautiful blue sky caught my attention as well as the lack of tourists. Well, there's plenty. There's tourists there. It was just the stores weren't open yet, you know, and, and the tourists don't really line the streets until the stores are open around noonish, you know what I mean, in the afternoon. But, yeah, no, it, it's, a, it's a nice little town. It says Santa Fe thought was too touristy and pretentious. And it is. It's what it is. You know, it's uh, it's for the New Yorkers and Californians to spend a lot of money and uh, and look at artwork and stuff like that. It's uh, uh, but be that as it may. Thank you, Old Vines Inn, HWM Liberty. I can smell that mountain air. I like this walk. Thanks, Rusty. Yeah, it's it's a nice uh, mountain air. The pine or the forest or the trees you know, have a smell. You know, uh, Mark Reynolds. This is all set up boondocking. I don't know where I was though. Uh, that looks like, hmm, can't tell. Thanks for sharing this video. Interesting information. Nice area to camp. That had a cover. Hmm. Boondocking with a cover. Where was I? I don't know where that was. Uh, anyway, Mark Reynolds, very nice, Rusty. This is on the Blue Eddy EB55 with 200 watts of solar. Yeah, I've got it right here. Yeah, and they're going to send me another one. They're coming out with a newer model. And they're going to send that to me. I may do some boondocking here sometime here in the next few months. Just, you know, just for the hell of it. Uh, anyway, RV living with the geezer. Rusty, no drones or editing on my videos either. I tell people I'm low tech. Truth is, I'm just too damn lazy. All that is a lot of work. Yeah, it is. And, and I feel the same way. And it's expensive. And I don't want to watch a $1,000 drone fly, fly off into the sunset. Or, option two, some... Bubba with a shotgun says, hey, I never saw a bird like that. You know, there goes my drone, you know. Uh, Terry Halsey, thanks for the interview with Gwendolyn. Yeah, Gwendolyn, that's over in, in Carrizozo. I was fascinated with her and her thoughts about improvisation. She's quite inspiring. Yeah, she is. She's a really nice lady there, I think, in Carrizozo. She, she works part-time at the Chamber of Commerce, or the, excuse me, the Visitor Center. Scotty Thompson says, cool comment call. Thank you, Scotty, the masked bowler from Wisconsin. Sashi Smith, wow, it's good evening time. Enjoyed the comment call. Thank you, Sashi Smith. I also took time yesterday to figure out how to read a prescription from, a, from an optometrist or whatever and because I wanted to order some glasses over the Internet. The ones I have, I know you care about this crap, <laughs> You know what I mean? I'm going to show you anyway. But you see, they're just little bitty things. You know what I mean? They're, they're, their lenses are just, you know, they just cover your eyeball. 
Now these are the ones I got for 15 bucks at Walmart. They're not prescription, but ding, you know, you see how much bigger those lenses are. You know what I mean? And, and so does that give you more sun protection and stuff? Sure it does. So I found a pair similar to, not, well, they're not, well, they're, they're called Carreras and they, they weren't too expensive. And so I, I, I ordered me a pair of prescription glasses and I had to learn how to read the prescriptions so I could fill in all the blanks correctly on the order form. And so hopefully we'll get those in the next three or four or five weeks, whatever it takes. Anyway, Joe9209 on the RVing stuff says, less is more. And if you want to use a kayak, canoe or bicycle on your travel, rent it and forget it. Yeah, th that's a good point. But, you know, having your own electric trike, uh, I can understand that because I, I, uh, there were some people that came to visit me in, at Fort Clark Springs in Texas, uh, my home base there, and uh, they had a, a Class C motorhome with no tow vehicle, but they did have two electric bikes. And, yeah, they went all over everywhere, you know, and, and so I, I, I can see that, you know, and that's fine. I mean, you know, and I wouldn't, you know, p people, you have to, everybody has to do their own thing, you know what I mean? I guess that's what I'm saying. This is on my my used car and eating crow speaking of crow there's the eat it crow right there anyway peter powell wow you lucky dog yeah i really was so far knock on wood uh it gets about 28 miles to the gallon and uh no issues i've got a check engine light that's a o2 sensor that i should get that fixed hopefully this week possibly saturday and then yeah it, it, it's okay i mean it starts and goes and does all the stuff it's supposed to and uh yeah yeah, it's, it's a good car. Uh, anyway, D. Anderson, but I don't know about luck. You know, what it is, whenever you, what, what happens, people get, people hesitate, okay? And, and I used to do that years ago. I don't do it anymore. <clears throat> but if there's a piece of property or a, like a car like this one was, I mean, I went up there. I mean, I was walking. I saw it. I thought, you know, that's a pretty neat car. And it was, and I went inside and talked to the guy that was working there. And he said, yeah, they, that was, that car was for sale. And he thought the price was whatever, I, I'll tell you later, maybe. Uh, anyway, and I thought, hell, that's not a bad deal. It was a 2012 with 110,000 miles. I thought, well, hell, that's less than, you know, uh, 12,000 miles a year or whatever. And I thought, hmm, that's a pretty, in one owner. And it's been maintained by that same repair shop uh, since they bought it new in Texas. And, uh, so, yeah, I thought, you know, good deal. And I drove it. It's okay. Uh, and uh, so it, the interior is like new. I mean, no kidding. And it, on the outside, of course, you know, all those miles got a little few dings and stuff. So I said, okay, I'll take it. That's it. And uh, I told him if he'd fix the uh, O2 sensor, I'd give him a full price offer. And I did. And we're done. I got it. It's right there. I already got the title on it and everything. So anyway, uh, D. Anderson on walking says, that's a nice little town. I might add that to my places to visit if there's good fishing and wild hogs to hunt i'm there well i don't know some of those wild hogs may be married anyway levi brewer rudoso is a cool town it is it is a nice little town they've got some neat little restaurants and bars and stuff and uh yeah it, it's a, a lot of people come up from texas i mean a lot uh, and and stay there uh, all summer uh, jason's texas adventures Nice walk, Rusty. Enjoyed seeing the shops, shops, and I bet the air was is very crisp and clean, and maybe most importantly, no humidity. No, there's no, no. You got to buy humidity out here. No, it's it's uh, well, hell. The humidity early in the mornings, which is usually the highest humidity of the day, uh, like right now. It well, I have to go look. I would ask this thing, but it doesn't know. Uh, it, it's probably in the 30s uh, percent in the mornings, and it drops down to 10. You know, in that range. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, thank you, Jason. Uh, this is Oki Brave. Watch out the, for the 1.7 illegal immigrants coming up in May. 1.7? Okay. <laughs> okay. Back on the meds there, Oki Brave. Uh, Rosebud's Travels, one of our favorite towns. Yeah, it's a lot of people's favorite. Susan Moorefield on the walking. Hey, Rusty, my mom and dad's gift shop was in that building. Uh, it felt funny looking at Ruidoso now since a long time for me. But thanks for the walk and scenery. I uh, didn't have much good times living there. But I finally got my sister, got my mister, and got to leave. Uh, but thanks for reminiscing. 
It says, I know all about Sutter Drive, but it sure looks different now. But anyway, thank you, Susan, for your comment. I'm, you're missing home, huh? D. McCarty on the walking says, do you have to be a New Mexico resident to purchase the pot? No. That's the way Colorado did it when they first legalized it. No, no. In fact, most of the people the first day were probably from Texas. Yeah. Or, or, or every other state. Maureen Lowe. Well, that was a nice change for your morning walk, giving us a glimpse at the very interesting touristy shops. Well, I mean, I don't know if you're saying that tongue-in-cheek or not, but it, it was just something to do. It's, maybe a lot of people haven't seen that. Uber Girl Barbara's got two here. Uh, one from uh, Ely, Nevada, and the other one from Ely, Nevada. It says, what happened to Road Trek Van in California 2018? Uh, man, that was a strange deal. It didn't work out. Uh, I would add, just tap the hammer a couple of times. A square peg doesn't move. I would move on. But it is nice to take your time and, and be your best shopper. Thanks for showing us Ely, Nevada. Well, you're welcome. It was, it's a nice town. This is on the walking again. A uh, king for a day, typical small New Mexico town in a touristy area, lots and lots of mom and pop shops. Uh, anyway, yeah, it, it's, it's the same way in uh, Santa Fe and, and Taos. Well, it's the same way at uh, the River Walk in San Antonio and other places. You know, it's, it's just, you know, where, where tourists go, you're going to have touristy stuff, you know, and, you know, T-shirts and all that stuff. Tejas Rob, uh, Rudoso just means noisy, not noisy water, I think. They say the wine will make you noisy. Oh, okay. Thank you, Tejas Rob. King for Day says the cold more than likely keeps the homeless away. Also, not as much free stuff and, and services given away. Uh, that's probably the bulk of it right there. Uh, because, you know, they got street people in Chicago, and Chicago is colder than Rodoso probably. Uh, anyway, Daniel Passini. Wow, downtown Rodoso looks like a busy city. So many stores and restaurants. Your video looked very good. Salute. Thank you, Daniel. I appreciate that. Uh, we'll do a few more here. Tuesday morning, guys. It's a beautiful day. It's I look out this window right here. Beautiful blue sky. So when I build my little home, I'll have to have be sure I have me a nice view because if I have a front porch, those two windows will be kind of covered by the roof coming out. I'll have to have me a kitchen window where I can look out and see the blue sky. I mean, you know, yeah, it, it, I'm just I'm just looking for, you know, people will ask, you know, why in the hell are you doing this? You know, you're 76 years old. You know, you don't, you're not going to live forever. I know that. But while I'm here, I want to live, okay? And, and I'm, I'm just, I just want to do something. I mean, you know, I just don't want to sit still. Julie Smith, uh, hi, Rusty. Love the walk, talk, and the sh all the shops. All new stores to me. So interesting. I'll be there someday. Good for you, Julie Smith. I hope you make it there. This is on the tiny home, Home Depot. Anton Stetner says amazing good for you Antone uh, or Anton Antone I guess uh, campers choice nice tour, tour of the shops in Ruidoso Rusty I used your link to get a butterfly latch for my trailer well good for you thank you for using the link to Amazon products in the description of my videos I appreciate that we'll do three or four uh, where are we at here we'll do three more four more and we'll shut her down uh, when oh, this is on the greenery room it says went there with my ex-girlfriend this has given me nightmare memories. Well, it shouldn't. It, hopefully, you've got some good memories. Benny Hill, uh, Shauna Mars, cute little town. Tracy Phillips, nice walking video, Rusty. Yeah, it was fun. I, mean, I enjoyed it as much as y'all did, probably or more. Elaine Tool. Uh, the weather in Fort Clark Springs will still be enjoyable for a few more weeks. Will you be going home soon? No, I don't think so. I mean, I don't plan to go back till the end of September. And if I start building this little cabin, I won't uh, go back till it's done. Uh, anyway, last one here, Mike Ellis. You don't have an on the green greenery room the, where they sold the pot. Says you don't have an inkling to buy one of those marijuana joints and smoke it. Uh, no, not really. Uh, I don't smoke, and uh, you know I, I'm naturally stoned anyway. You know I don't have to get high to get anywhere. And I do drink my beer, but beer's not. You know beer doesn't take you anywhere. You know what I mean? It just fills you up and gets you know you just kind of get, get kind of goofy. You know what I mean? Uh, and, and that's about like uh, marijuana too, I guess. But having said that, thank you for your comment, Mike, and the rest of you. Uh, Y'all have a good day. And if there's something you want to do, get started, you know what I mean? But anyway, with that in mind, from Capitan, New Mexico, on a clear, cool day and so far not windy, 
This is Rusty78609 saying, Patoom, thumbs up. Carpe diem, carpe diem uh, means uh, seize the day in Latin. Carpe diem, adios, bye bye, buy anything you want anytime. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos. Why? Because it doesn't cost you a penny. Just click on the link, go to Amazon, and buy whatever you want. Okay? And uh, what else? Uh, some of you are and some of you have. Thank you very much. You know, that, that helps. It does, you know. But anyway, uh, you do you, I do me. Okay? That, that works. And then what else? Drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day won't hurt you. It's good for you. It'll help you avoid gout, kidney stones. Also help you lose weight because you'll be full of water and you will not want to eat so much as in snack. And the only way to lose weight and keep it off, and you know it and I know it, eat less, eat less, get a smaller plate. That helps. And then what else? Uh, take deep breaths. Breathe in really deep. Hold it for a few seconds and then breathe out slowly. Why? Because that relieves stress. And relieving stress does what? Lowers your blood pressure. Is that good for you? Sure it is. Do it several times a day. And then stretch, stretch, stretch. Swivel, swivel, swivel. Walk, walk, walk. Pedal, pedal, pedal. Exercise your body once or twice a day every single day. Why? Because you'll feel better immediately and you may live longer, healthier because of that one thing. And then, very important, stand guard at the door of your mind. This is your brain, your head, your frontal lobes, your consciousness. All those little neurons in there are forming neural links, which is every single thought you have. So, accentuate the positive, eliminate the negative. You know what I mean? You know, don't watch the news. That's all negativity. How about that? You know, accentuate the positive. Uh, what else? Adios, bye-bye, hasta luego, vaya con Dios, aloha, until the next time, which will be the noon video, which will be, uh, I, I, I saw an uh, older Class C motorhome when I was in Ruidoso, and I, I did a short walk around of it. The, the, the Class C was locked, but you'll be able to get an idea of the price. But anyway, I saw, I'll show you that one, and then... Boom, 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 boom. All along we go. Anyway, guys, adios. Enjoy your day. Got a weekend coming up and beer 30 on Friday. Adios, amigos. Bye-bye.